Today's windy weather is making for some rough conditions out on the high seas, but our Ronnie Dahl doesn't need water for her latest boating adventure. <laughs> that is not the high seas. You know, she came across that abandoned fishing boat sitting high and dry in a Detroit neighborhood. The owner nowhere in sight. Ronnie joins us now from the city's west side with the maritime mystery. This time of year, most boats are already dry docked, tucked away for the cold winter months ahead. So when a Channel 7 viewer came across one dumped on the side of the road, I had to check it out. On Detroit's west side, on the side of the road, a boat, a big boat, left all alone. How long has this boat been here? Um, I would say two to three months. Two to three months. Just dropped here at the side of the road? The side of the road, just sitting there. For weeks, the big white boat sat adrift alone on the street. I'm guessing since all the tires seem to be operational, they didn't just break down. No. <laughs> Somebody sat it there. But who and why? I think we should try to find out who owns it. Yes. Yes. Let them know we found their boat. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure they're looking for it. So I climb aboard. No clues, just a few forgotten drinking cups. A search from the ground shows the boat ID numbers gone, scratched off. I'm guessing by the way they scratched out the MC numbers, they were trying to Get dump it. it. Yeah, quick. Just when I feared my quest for answers ran aground, a clue. Numbers on the back of the boat that, with the help of the Secretary of State's office, lead me to the rightful owner, a woman out of Saginaw. So how did it end up dumped on the side of the road? Christina Leah Hallowill told me over the phone she doesn't know how the boat ended up abandoned on a Detroit street. Her husband left it with a repair shop after learning it would be too costly to repair. Just when we thought we were done with this story, a mysterious camera shy man shows up to haul the boat away. So now you're going to put on a yeah. helmet. When he had trouble hitching it up, he returned, this time with a friend. It's not going to end up dumped again, is it? There's something a little fishy about this tale, and Detroit police are already on the case to sort everything out. On Detroit's West Side tonight, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.